fundies don't like being told off when you've been stupid. Now, that's my job. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy pointing out just how stupid people like this idiot Chili is. You're stupid, mate. Your last statement violated the law of non-contradiction. Not what's on my screen. You are an idiot. Okay? Don't talk through me. Don't ask me what's on screen. Except that you violated the law of non-contradiction with your almost actual location. Okay, moron. Yeah, you'll enjoy seeing um, these rumpus. You're the star of them. Yeah, you were claiming earlier I caught you saying you didn't know what the speed of light was. I mean, we know this very definitely, so quite why you don't know just demonstrates you're ignorant of the body of human knowledge, I'm afraid. Speed of light in a vacuum? Which vacuum? Any vacuum you choose to make a measurement in. And this is something that happens in nature, is it? There are vacuums in nature? Nature abhors a vacuum. If there's something to go into it, but if there's nothing next to it, it'll remain a vacuum. We even, have, we even have little vacuums in the leaves of plants. They generate little vacuums. That's how they how transpiration works. Oh, capillary action. And the speed of light no, is measured no, it's in... No, not capillary action. Speed of light's measured in these plants, is it? No, we, I don't so which vacuum people... are we talking about then? So, Nathan, so we're not talking about plants. Change. Okay, let's just brush past that. So, which vacuum are we talking about then? Any vacuum care to care for care to, to talk about? One that we've made, or one that occurs naturally in nature? They're both the same. And which one are we talking about in nature? There is a vacuum in space, of course. There is no vacuum of space. If the sky was a vacuum, then the gas we breathe would expand in all directions and fill the available volume in which it has to fill. This is the entropy law. It's also known as the second law of thermodynamics. No, it isn't. Yeah, the entropy law is known as the second law of thermodynamics. We've demonstrated it here. We had Chocolate present a little clip where a guy demonstrates it. Demonstrates what? Second law of thermodynamics? Yeah, entropy. An entropy yeah, we know what it, Well, you don't know what entropy... You don't know the difference between... Sorry, that's time for him to disappear. I'm not going to tolerate your ad homs here. You can fuck off. I don't understand. I do understand. I understand that you are a wanker. And that's why you've been removed. Telling me that I don't understand entropy when you've de declared that the second law of thermodynamics does not apply to the Earth. We have a quote of that makes it really plain to my audience that you don't understand the second law of thermodynamics because you think it doesn't apply to the earth this natural law so by demonstration you don't understand a bit like kosho doesn't understand the difference between actual spin direction and apparent deviation when it comes to things being apparent you morons don't have the slightest clue. And when it comes to laws of nature that are violated in a sphere earth model, you guys will openly and boldly declare that a law of nature doesn't apply to the earth. It's because you're all retards with the religion of a globe earth. So telling us that the second law of thermodynamics doesn't apply to the earth just makes you a moron that doesn't understand this. Ad homing me that I don't understand will get you removed. So sod off. Right, egg. Hey. By the way, Nathan, even if you would entertain that concept presuppositionally, you know, like second law of thermodynamics does not apply here and there. Well, how about that, that supposed myth of when you decompress, you know, the decompression chamber, suddenly you blow off into space and everything is dragged with that air rushing out. So wait, it does apply there, right? According to science fiction lore. So why now doesn't it apply? It just there's no consistency here. Well, because the model violates the second law of thermodynamics. It has gas without any containment not filling an available volume, which is in direct violation of the second law of thermodynamics. So because his sky vacuum model of a sphere Earth violates natural law, he will boldly declare that that law doesn't apply to Earth. In translation, the second law of thermodynamics violated in the globe Earth model. That's what he actually means. 
Right, because Rumpus says it doesn't apply to the Earth, right? So it does apply to space, but not to the Earth. So in space, gas expands in all directions, according to him, but not on the Earth. But, uh, but it does apply on the Earth. We we actually demonstrated that. You remember with the uh, with the gas, with the colored gas in the vacuum bottle and all that. So it yeah. kind of does apply to the Earth. I don't see how it could be demonstrated that it doesn't apply to the Earth with an actual physical demonstration. Ah, he's because. got it. Only applies to isolated systems. So in the same way as we have gas law. And the gas law is described with an ideal gas to simplify the law and explain it to the masses. In the same way, the second law of thermodynamics is described with an isolated system. There are no isolated systems. None occur in nature. But it doesn't change the fact that this is a law of nature. The fact that Rumpus believes that because it's being described to those more educated than him using isolated systems that that suddenly means it doesn't apply to an open or closed system even though it's been demonstrated to him on this show by demonstration in a closed system now the demonstration wasn't done with an isolated system rumpus just because the guy with the little vials one with a vacuum and one with bromine when he opened up the valve and showed an entropy increase, he didn't have an isolated system, but was still describing the second law of thermodynamics, which is a law of nature and does apply to Earth. But you need to deceive your audience that it doesn't apply. So you've got this crap excuse that like ideal gas law with an ideal gas, what doesn't apply to gases? Because there is no ideal gas law. It's just these dudes in white coats inventing a story about something that doesn't exist that never applies to anything ever. The second law of thermodynamics only applies to isolated systems that do not exist, according to Rumpus. So when they're educating people up and down in universities all across the plain, what they're actually doing is describing a law that only applies to something that doesn't exist at all, according to Rumpus. Because we all need to be educated on a law of nature that only applies to isolated systems which do not exist. That's why we need to dedicate so much educational effort to telling people about this non-existent law that only applies to a non-existent system. Oh no, my bad, it absolutely applies to a closed system, was we demonstrated here on this show to the moron Rumpus who thinks it doesn't apply to Earth because it's being described with an isolated system. No, Rumpus. Clearly your ad hominem was a projection. You don't understand that merely using an isolated system to describe a law of nature doesn't mean that it only applies to that which you have used to describe it. It's still a law of nature, you funny little man. Maybe you need to educate yourself on what the second law of thermodynamics is and then ask yourself why you'd be educated in something that only applies to something that doesn't exist. Because that would be a waste of everybody's time. We wouldn't educate people on what the second law of thermodynamics was if it only applied to an isolated system when we have none. That would be ludicrous. But you are a fundamentalist religious zealot with a model that violates this natural law. And to get around that little problem, you're telling your audience that it is educated to people with isolated systems, but ultimately only applies to that system which doesn't exist. Because that's useful to know. No, it definitely applies to open and closed systems, Rumpus. You're just a moron. Where was that law created, discovered again, Nathan? Where was it discovered? Was it uh, on Earth, in nature. Okay, just checking. Brumpus's Earth is based on the model. Our Earth 